everybody. Corn harvest day number two is officially underway. Emptied the truck from what I made last night. This morning at the bin site. Dad is currently at the dryer right now, just kind of babysitting it. Trying to get everything fine tuned. We want to make sure we're not over drying, but not under drying. So we're trying to find that sweet spot. Uh, he's sticking around the dryer first thing this morning. I got the truck empty now. I'm headed over to the combine. I'm actually at the farm, just trying to drive out through the woods here. I'm gonna fill everything up and then head back over there. But yeah, he's just trying to stay over there. That dryer is pretty old too, so it's uh, pretty finicky. For whatever reason, every once in a while, something will shut off, like the dry conveyor or something else, pop a fuse or something. So. We just want to make sure it's going to stay running for a little while uh, once he gets it all set up to the speed that he wants. This, this is uh, pretty awesome with the automatic bin fold up and fold down. Got the park truck down the lane a little ways. I'm gonna open up this field on the other side of the ditch here and uh, leave this for later this afternoon. Combine should be warmed up now, so let's give it a go. If I get a chance today, I really want to stop and clean this back window. It's uh, pretty hard to see in there anymore. I'm still trying to get the combine kind of adjusted. It looks like I got quite a few little bits of broken up cobs in the tank, so a lot of FM. On the downsides to this newer grain tank, is that it sits quite a bit taller than the old one. You gotta be pretty careful about trying not to smoke any tree branches with it, break anything. Just getting back to the bin site now. It's been a couple hours. Truck's fully loaded. I got the crank. I got the grain cart, 90 some percent loaded. So there's gonna be uh, over half a truck load sitting and waiting for me when I get back. these little markers on the ground here so I know where to stop every time at the pit. So this is the first hopper. Line it up with this muck flap here. I can pull up to that second stake there and I'll line up to the back hopper. Only saves probably 40 seconds of getting out and pulling forward ahead again once or twice but you do that a hundred times during harvest and uh, it adds up. So same way with the uh, pit setup. Not the best, and it's definitely not an actual pit, but uh, it saves time from just pulling up to that sweep auger, rolling it under the truck, and then rolling it back out, where now we can just drive over it and start dumping. Yeah, 
doesn't take much time to roll that sweet auger under the truck, but after doing it a hundred times during harvest, uh, it adds up. So we eliminated that and total wise, you know, we probably saved a couple hours. Combine again. Dad followed me over here. Gonna dump some fuel on the combine yet and uh, get the cart all dumped off onto the semi. At this point, everything's gonna get really repetitive. back to the grain dryer to check on it. Make sure nothing just turned off or shut down for whatever reason. So the grain cart should fill up half the truck so dad's really only gonna do four rounds and then the semi will be full again.
losing Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to gains, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to gains, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own So fight and fight and die For the things you know you time to kill I think before dad shows up I'm gonna jump in the tank here and try to clean this back window up before I get loaded again ran out of paper towels but that's a bit better Weapon's gonna be full and then we gotta wait for the dryer so it's gonna be backed up. So we're gonna load up the truck, probably load up the green car, keep the combine empty, so that way we can close the bin. So here's the chances of 
rain tonight. I think it's it, I dropped down quite a bit, but just in case, we'll just uh, not bother filling up the combine. It loads up pretty quick, so. But I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.